Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewer verse. Well, my hat's a bit squiffy. There we go. That's, that's less squiffy, isn't it? I think I'm having myself a cup of tea, which means I'm going to be having a little chat about something. What are we going to be having a chat about? Well, you probably saw the thumbnail, people in the viewer verse. I'm back to the rumors on the top three games that I'm sort of watching at the moment, people. So, yes, it's going to be Beyond Good and Evil 2, Starfield, and No Man's Sky. Ooh. So, let's get into it, shall we, people inside of the view of us? Thank you, ass. Awesome. Right now, so jumping over onto the old Tinted Webs and onto YouTube, you can see here, we've even got box art for Beyond Good and Evil 2. It never actually became a freaking thing. But isn't that interesting that it's already got pre-order it here, pre-order it there, pre-order it everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's not happening. <laughs> Even Argos is at it. What? I'm going to click one. I've got to click it. I'm going to click it. Let's have a look what this does. If I get robbed now, people, I'm going to get robbed sort of live, aren't I? Seriously, you can actually pay for it. That seems a bit freaking dodgy, doesn't it? Argos.co. It even looks like a legit website, doesn't it? But yeah, I, I don't trust that one freaking bit, people, in the viewer verse. Heck no, I don't. Anyways, here we go. Beyond Good and Evil 2. 15 years in development hell. Heck yes, I've been following this game for a heck of a long time. Yeah, because it got announced way, 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 way back. I think the first trailer, though, did drop around 2017. But even still, that's that's freaking eons ago, isn't it, really? It's freaking mental. Yeah, there we go. The UBI Soft North America, the last gameplay update four years ago. And we haven't really seen much else coming from it from then. However, yes, UBI Soft has tweeted out to say, yes, we're still making it. In fact, there's been an article, like a news article done by some magazine to say, yes, it's still in production. It's still being made. That is not one of their cancelled titles. So that's very good news, people in the view of us. If, like me, you are looking forward to Beyond Good and Evil 2, it's still on the cards. Still on the cards, people in the view of us. So that's pretty darn freaking excellent. Right now, so next off, we're going over to Starfield. And we've got all sorts going on over in the Starfield sort of forum at the moment, people. That blurred out image right there is some box art. So... But it's actually printed on a box. So I'd imagine it's in some sort of warehouse or factory where they're putting together Xbox boxes. That one's all damaged. There's a few tears and a few nicks in the actual box. And yeah, it looks like they're actually getting ready for their actual final push for merchandise and things like that and printing products and stuff like that. But that's an actual Xbox game box thing. Uh, let me see if I can show you it. Let's see if it's actually in there. Uh, let me see if I can Google and find it. So here we go. We're going to type in... Yeah, what am I looking for? Yeah, Starfield Xbox console box. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find it that way. Yeah, there it is. Brilliant. It's on Games Rant. But there you are. That's it right there. Let's see if we can make that a bit bigger for you. Oh, great. It's taken me. Yes, except I signed my life away to show people some freaking box. There we go. There it is there. There we go. That didn't take too many clicks, did it? But there we are. Look, see what I mean by it? it's a bit crumpled up there. And then it's just been thrown down on some tiles and they've taken a picture. I can only but imagine that they work in some sort of factory putting together this sort of print cycle. And this is just one of the boxes that got a little bit knackered. So they've put it to one side. It was going to get trashed or something. Took a picture, thrown it on Tinterweb for speculation purposes. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm using it for. Speculation purposes. Ha ha! But yeah, there's also talk that Starfield is not going to be at the Bethesda show. In fact, they're, they're going to be doing their own separate show just for Starfield, apparently. Here we go. Starfield Showcase is coming. So it's those sort of videos that you want to take a quick look at if you really want to hear what I've just told you, but just said by somebody else. Oh, look, there's the packaging. I didn't have to click around. Just had to scroll down a bit further. Much sake. So it does seem that things are happening over in the Starfield space. And if you go onto their Steam page or their actual website, there is like contact details and things to give feedback on the actual game. So, yeah, it does look like it's getting ready for release. And some people are reading into that to say that it might be coming in the first half. So, yeah, some people are even saying it may come as soon as March. I'm kind of thinking it might come 
as soon as March. I did do a video on that, my own speculation on why I think it's coming in March. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner so you can go check that out. But there's a lot of decent videos that people have been doing analysis of the actual breakdowns and stuff. So a really good one on the actual fauna of um of Starfield. So they went into all the footage and spotted all the creatures and put it there. But yeah, there's a lot of people drawing up a lot of hype, thinking that it's gonna be coming soon. I'm hoping it's coming soon. I think it's going to be coming in between March and maybe the first half. Uh, I don't see it dropping in February, but I could be wrong. You know, you never know. You never know with these things, do you? But then I'd imagine if it was coming out in February, pre-orders would be opened up now. I'd imagine pre-orders would start in February, then it drops in March. That's what I'm hoping to see happen, people, in the view of us. right -o. So what is the uh, third one? It's going to be No Man's Sky, isn't it, people, in the view of us? I guess it is. Right, well, with No Man's Sky, you know what Sean Murray's like. He He's fairly silent until right up to the day before an update, or a couple of days before an update, and then he'll put out an emoji for us to go freaking mental on, and then hopefully after that we'll get um, an idea of what the update might be. But anyways, that hasn't happened to us yet. Also, signs that we look for around um, uh, No Man's Sky is whether the Steam depots have been updated, we take a look to see whether um, there's been any sales like on PSN or anywhere like that. And I'm not seeing any of that happen right now. I'm just loading up the Steam depots right now. Oh, OK. It says that that info is blocked. Why is that blocked? That's a little bit weird. OK, uh, let me just try that once more. Maybe I've got it saved as a bookmark. Yeah, it's not working. I can't get to the Steam depots. That's strange. That's strange. Anyway, I'll show you in a second. Let's just jump back over to my reaction cam and I'll show you what I did in a moment. There we go, reaction mini. Anyhow, so No Man's Sky wise, so I filtered this to videos uploaded in the last week. And you can see here there's a lot of speculation going on inside of the community at the moment, trying to speculate, is there going to be a new update? And if so, when? When are we going to see this new update? In fact, I think this is premiering right now, or it was a moment ago. But yeah, there's all sorts going on, a lot of hype, a lot of sort of speculation around whether the station overrides are going to do anything. Done my own speculation on the station override some time ago. Um, some of my thoughts and feelings around the station override have changed, so I might do another video on that. I might just do it in this sort of format and deliver it that way. But yeah, a lot of sort of speculation around the next update inside of here. A few of my videos as well, people in the viewer well. So yeah, go and hit them up those if you haven't seen them already. Sweet. So, quite a lot going on. That, that looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> they've hidden one of those light fishes, but they've made a really quick UFO out of that. I quite like that. That's kind of nice. Well done, you, Maverick. Yeah. Awesome. All sorts going on inside the view of us. There always is. But yeah, there is also the PlayStation VR 2 launch. So, if I jump on over to the Twitter page here with Sean of the Murrays, and it says about the VR lineup, and we've got No Man's Sky there. Now, I retweeted this out asking whether we might see the box art. I'll show you my tweet in a moment. But here's the VR 2 unit. Again, it's saying here are the best seven PSVR launch titles, and it's got No Man's Sky in the background on Eurogamer, which is kind of awesome to see, isn't it? So, I would say that No Man's Sky in VR, even on the original VR, was freaking awesome. So if they've uplifted that and added in a load of haptic feedback, I can't wait to try No Man's Sky. Heck no, that'd be freaking great, wouldn't it? Anyhow, let's go back over to the Twitterverse and let's go to my own sort of homepage. And boom, and if I scroll on down... Here you go, this is what I said. I said here, I wonder if the place if, if PSVR2 would get new box art or a wallpaper art on the PS5 home screen. Any chance of an early sneaky look here on Twitter, Mr. Murray? Ha ha ha! Yeah, Sean of the Murray verse. Something for us to hype and speculate on. Because you yeah, know, if it's got some funky box art that might show, you know, free alien worlds in the background, maybe we might be able to spot something in there that might give subtle hints of what might also be dropping alongside VR, if anything. You know, so that's what I was hoping for. Nothing has happened as yet. If we do get box art dropped or anything like that, or a, t or a tweet or anything, then that'd be cool. But anyway, let me show you this um this whole thing that I was on about momentarily ago, where I've got I've got a hyperlink that takes me straight to. Oh, it's working now. I came up with an error message before. Okay, well, has anything happened? Let's have a look at the depots. Anything happened on the depots? Public two months ago. Two months ago. Last month. Yeah. Nothing's really happening over on the actual Steam depots, people in the viewer verse. Nothing at all. 
Uh, not seen any sales hitting in or anything like that. No whisper of sales happening yet, but they usually happen maybe a week or so or two weeks or get before you actually see an update drop into the actual verse. Depending, depending people, it's not always a sure, sure fire thing. Another thing is the Quicksilver items. And as you know, right now inside of the Quicksilver store, we've got free rocks to unlock. And then after we've unlocked those free rocks, we have got ourselves another cape to unlock. And usually when Quicksilver items come to an end completely, and where I'm looking, I'm looking in the No Man's Sky Systems app, and I'm clicking on the community mission here. And then look, there's the free rocks right there. Out of all of those, I want that one. I want the middle one, this this thing here, this uh, this coral, because it looks like a rib cage. And if you if you attach it to that giant skull we've already got, you could probably make yourself quite a convincing looking creature skeleton. Um, but then after that, after all of that, if I click next rewards, you can see here it's got the tentacle cape. There we go, tentacle cape. There we are. Boom. So that's got to come after the three rocks. So after we've unlocked all three rocks, we've got another cape to unlock. Now, you know how long it took us to unlock the first cape. That took a good two freaking weeks. So if those, I'm hoping those rocks take us up to February. And I'm hoping this uh, tentacle tape cape takes us up to about, you know, Valentine's sort of week or Valentine's time. Then I'm hoping we see some sort of update that replenishes the Quicksilver store. But not only that, the drops in the PlayStation VR 2 update. I mean, no one can play it without the PlayStation VR 2 actual hardware, can they? So who cares if it goes in a week early? You know, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe that week, the Valentine's week is when we might see some sort of update. If we don't see it then, then I think we'd definitely see it by the 22nd because, you know, Hello Games have committed to the 22nd, haven't they, for PlayStation VR 2. So that's all the news I've got for you. So some of it, again, is sort of based a little bit on airy-fairy sort of news that I'm seeing all around the, around the web when it comes to Starfield. And But we have got an official confirmation that Beyond Good and Evil is still being worked on. That must be one of the longest games in development ever. Yeah, just make, make, Who you got working on it? Yeah, is it grandma? What the fudge? How, how fast are they typing? Yeah, you might want to give them some freaking pure coffee or something over there. Get that title out. Get it done. Freaking quick. Because, you know, the likes of Starfield are going to mop the floor with it if you're not careful. UBI soft. Pull your finger out, mate. Anyway. <laughs> no Man's Sky. I'm thoroughly excited for the year 2023. I have done one of these tea time videos about all the bugs and how the bugs are slowing down my enjoyment of, of what I can do inside of No Man's Sky or limiting what I can do in No Man's Sky that I enjoy, I should say, because I still thoroughly enjoy No Man's Sky. I'm just not able to do all the things that I used to do. And um, that window of what I can create content on is slowly shrinking. So I'd like to see that uplifted a little bit more, you know. Anyhow, people in the view of us, I'm pretty much there, to be fair. And uh, I think I'm going to be ending off. Think, oh, more of my tea. I've neglected the my tea. Lovely jubbly. Until next time, people. You've been freaking awesome. Heck yes, you have. I've been Captain Steve. Until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.